So people often ask me what's the best and worst part of being an insolvency practitioner. Um, obviously there are highs and lows as there are with most jobs. Um, one of the worst things is also one of the best things actually, which is having to explain to a director that for whatever reason, um, their company now doesn't have any other options except to liquidate, call it a day, cease trading, which is obviously really sad. Um, it's not something that they set out to achieve. It's not something that they ever wanted to happen to them. But unfortunately, as I said, due to the circumstances, it's just now inevitable and they don't have a choice and they either need to jump before they are pushed by a creditor into liquidation. Um, normally they've got a bit of an inkling that perhaps that's what I'm going to advise them before they pick up the phone to me because they've already done their research and they understand their company's insolvent. But the flip side of that is actually once they've made that decision, taken the advice, understood the different options and the ramifications, often they say to me it's a weight off their shoulder and it's a real relief. They've got peace of mind now that they've been putting this off for however long, procrastinating over it, burying their heads in the sand, worrying understandably about it and stressing about it and once they've made that decision now they know it's going to happen they will hold their hand through their process and they've just got that sense it's time to move on we'll help them wipe the slate clean and then the the worst part is definitely having to tell the employees that sadly they've been made redundant it's not something that we have to do the directors are um, able to do that themselves if they want to but understandably sometimes they just don't or can't bring themselves to actually do that they're not in the right state of mind emotionally to be able to deliver that news and um, we are therefore able to step in and tell those employees which is really horrible but it's a, a lot easier for me to do that than the directors because I don't know these people and haven't worked for them um, so I can um, as far as possible try to deal with it in an unemotive way and explain to them their rights and their ability to claim back any monies owed to them from a government scheme known as the Redundancy Payments Office. Um, but it's not very nice at all having to stand in front of a group of strangers and tell them that they've now lost their jobs of immediate effect and it might be some time before they get their money back. That's without a shadow of a doubt the worst part of being an insolvency practitioner.